we know that communism fails, um, and sorry, I'm very bright lights here. Um, uh, uh, we know we know that communism fails because. Um, uh, Sorry, I'm just... What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back. Go to new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Communism always fails for one simple reason. This is by Charlie Kek. I call him Charlie Kick. We call him Love Kicking Us. Let's get right to this video. I think that communism can be used for the good of society. Hold on. Guys. Bear with me. Well, I'm going to stand up for you. Guys, let him talk. Okay? We talked about B this. Before I ask my question, can you state why... Um, communism always fails? Okay, yeah, great question. Um, very simple. Human beings, That's in selfish. my belief, and in any sort of observation of human nature, are viciously self-interested, and they will not act communally, whether given an, ever given an opportunity to do so otherwise. So we are not communal social creatures, as postulated by either Rousseau or Marx. In fact, we're far more self-interested and sinful in our disposition and that is why communism has never worked and will never work, unless you have an example you, you can point to. I don't. I agree with you, um, which is why this comes across as weird. Um, uh, we know that communism fails, um, and – sorry, I'm very bright lights here. Um, uh, uh, we, know, we know that communism fails because um, – uh, my God, I'm sorry, I'm just – I'll help you out a little bit. Just I can maybe this might help you. Okay, it's anti-human. It is anti-family. Remember, Marx talked openly yeah. about destroying the nuclear. Is that helping at all? Or? It, it does. It does. Okay, good. So, so uh, communism fails on uh, uh, when you see someone's business. It, it uh, all the other businesses that uh, are in that industry stop selling. Um, so, if we uh, know that uh, that's going to be the result, why don't we use that the the negatives of communism for good? And what I mean by that is use it for a good that we don't want people to have, uh, specifically drugs. We don't want people to have meth or fentanyl, so why not socialize the drug industry so that the government sees drugs from drug dealers and distributes it to users to force shortages and uh, to basically force a drug famine? That, that is a very interesting idea. Um, so what your idea is, because I want to take every idea seriously, is we nationalize the meth industry and it will be so poorly run, no one will get their meth on time. <laughs> and there'll be like TSA waiting lines to get your meth. They'll be like super bankrupt. They'll like take every possible federal holiday off and people will stop doing meth because the delivery mechanism and the production, they'll be like 10 years delayed in making meth and people will just give it up. Uh, basically, yes. They That's actually kind of smart. <laughs> The meth store is only open four hours a day. Everyone's super angry when you walk in. You might be onto something. I'm not even being sarcastic. I, th you know? I, I think that I think that users would be more than willing to turn in their dealers. And um, uh, once dealers realize that they can't they can't sell drugs because they'll be seized and distributed, that's sort of the end of the drug market. Hey, I mean, y you got me at trying to make the meth stores like the TSA. So, uh, <laughs> God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, this was not what I was expecting. But I, I love the communist um, guy who was there. I think he, he knows what's wrong with communism. Communism can never thrive because human beings, we are selfish in nature. You understand? Know, it's, 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 it's really funny, but it's who we are. We are not a com communist, communist, communist being. She actually put it like that. We are selfish in nature. We just want for ourselves, but not for others. You understand? So it never thrives. It's always free. You understand? They're, they're, but no matter how they are looking for a way to make communism work, for a way to another alternative, you can't change who humans are. Our behavior, our attitude, you can't change that. It's who humans are. You might... One human might have the perspective of we want you to be together, we want to create such community, we want you to thrive. Another person just wants to rip off it for his own personal gain. You understand? That is why it's 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 never thrives. You understand? It's never thrives. But I love the the communist students. 
Um, the, I love the communist man. I love how he's honest. He's really honest, and he has a very impressive idea. I will say that the, his idea that I have is really impressive, and I feel like it's something they should look into and work towards it. It's really, it's really, he's a smart man, but at the same time, he was tense while speaking. But I love how he was truthful. That the reason why communism, communism fail is because of the same reason Charlie talked about human being selfish in nature. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Many of can subscribe to China. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all